fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of what will other people say, fear of success, fear of rejection, fear of judgments, so many types of fears. But the thing is, what can you do to overcome it, to beat that fear, to shake hands with that fear? That's what this video is all about. So if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe right below to my channel, not to miss any new videos to create the life that you desire. That's what all my videos are about. And I am going to go inside to get away from the noise of the birds or the wind and dig deep and help you overcome the fear of failure, the fear of the unknown give you the keys and the solutions and the cure to that. And stay till the end because there's actions and free gifts for you at the end of this video. Fear, fear, fear. Oh my gosh. Fear is a topic I can talk about for hours and I won't. I will tell you what is fear, where it's coming from, what it's causing, why, and especially and foremost, how can we overcome it? What can you do about it? Fear, first of all, it's normal. It's normal if you're growing, if you're going towards success and you're growing and you're climbing the ladder and you're growing in your career and your success, there is fear. Fear is normal. Fear is human. It's part of being just a human being. And where is it coming from? Well, it comes from uh, ages back. <laughs> we always fear the worst case scenario. So we fear that we're going to be chased by a tiger and we have to run away. So we always fear the worst case scenario. So that's where fear is coming from. It's human nature. It's, it's, but fear, listen to this. Fear is as deep as the mind allows. Fear is as deep as the mind allows. Fear is in here and it's all caused by your thoughts. Let me give you a very simple example. You're laying in bed at night and you hear some noise and you, you think, oh my gosh, there's a burglar. Oh my gosh, there's a burglar. Oh, oh, oh no. And you start, your heart start racing and you're starting to sweat and, and, and all of these thoughts come into your mind and it's like, oh no, there's a burglar and he's going to steal and what am I going to do? And I'm going to maybe get hurt and oh no. And you just panic and you freeze and you just don't, you know, it's ever, I mean, your behavior, your whole body is just reacting because of that fear. And, and what just happened here? You just had one thought. There is a burglar. And that caused anxiety, panic, fear, feelings. And that caused behavior physically, sweating, shaking. Your thought created the feeling that created a behavior. If the thought would be, oh, it's probably a bird or something. Nothing would have happened further than that, right? So do you understand how powerful the mind is? How powerful it is? So if you can create a thought, I mean, fear, any fear comes from a thought. And I love the quote of Dale Carnegie who writes in his book, the secret to feeling miserable is having the leisure to think whether you are happy or not happy. If we think so much, that's what's causing us misery. Really, it's causing misery. It's causing worry. It's causing fear all because of our thoughts. Now, where is all of these fears coming from? You can go back to your childhood. You can analyze all of that. It's probably coming from your childhood, but I'm not going to deep dive into that right now. The thing is that you have to understand that it's coming from your thoughts. And if there's a trauma somewhere, you have to deal with that too. But it's always coming from a thought. Now, what types of fear are there? There's a fear of the unknown. There's a fear of failure. There's a fear of the outcome of success. There's a fear of success, actually. The feeling of the fear of the result, the fear of loss, losing what you're used to. A big one. Fear of... Um, yeah, I think those are the most common ones that I, I may want to just discuss two of them. The fear of loss and the fear of failure and the fear yeah, of the unknown. All of them have to do with thoughts. But let's think about loss. If you're in a job or in a career and you really want to transform and change, like I quit my corporate job a few years ago, I was so stressed out and so burned out. And the fear I had was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose 
the money, the title, the car, the laptop, the phone, the loss. I was afraid of losing all of that. That's the fear of loss. But if I kept focusing on that fear of loss and the things that I, I, I would lose and not have anymore, it would keep me stuck. But as soon as I started focusing on the gains, like the possibilities and opportunities out there, remember you are limitless. So if, if, if I started focusing on that, I'm like, yeah, that's what I want. That's a transformation and change that I want. I want that digital lifestyle. I want to have, you know, work online and have my clients online and help people and inspire people through my videos. And oh my God, that made me so happy. And so I took the step and I did that. Of course, I took step by step, but I'm so happy I did that because if I would have been focusing on that loss and the fear, I would have stayed. And this goes back to the fear of the unknown. You don't know. Nobody knows. You don't know what you don't know. So why are you afraid of what you don't know? Why was I afraid of things that I, I didn't even know? No, but if you think about it, everything starts with a thought, everything. Your mobile phone, it started with somebody thinking about it. The light, it started with somebody thinking about it. A table, a chair. Who would have thought we have navigation on our phone that people would, you know, walk down the street all the time with their phone? Who would have thought we could come home and say, hey, Alexa, I want some jazz music or hey, Google, play me some rumba, I don't know, salsa, you know? Who would have thought that would happen? But everything, every creation, every innovation starts with a thought. So your fear always comes from a thought. You know the types, you know the causes, you know what it is, you know it's coming from a thought, you know there's fear of failure, but I, you know, talk about that. You have to make mistakes, you have to fail because failure is your feedback. The unknown, like looking at a foggy sea and you have to cross it, but you don't see the end destination. No, it's the process, it's the process, it's the process. So how can you overcome fear? How can you overcome fear? You have to go through it. You have to get your blood pumping. You have to be excited. You have to shake hands with your fear. There is only one way through it. It's there's only one way to overcome it. It's through it. Make friends with your fear. You have to take steps. If you're just afraid sitting and saying, yeah, I'm afraid you will stay stuck and nothing will happen, right? So it's your choice. Do you want to take action and do it or stay stuck and not achieve anything? Think, think back to a moment where you did something the first time. The first time you took a train, the first time you drove your bicycle, the first time you took a plane, the first time you, st you stood up and had to talk in a meeting with your colleagues, the first time of anything you did, it was super scary, right? But then you did it and then you did it again and again and it starts going better and the fear melts away. So it's taking action and going through it and, and doing it and then repetition, 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 because habituation is the antidote of avoidance. You can avoid fear or you can go through it. So habituation is the antidote to avoidance. Think about it. You're afraid of heights. You can be afraid of heights your whole life. Or what I'm trying to say is that you can't just be fear from fear of heights to being fearless right away, right? It's also a process. You have to take steps and you have to do it again and again and again. And the reason I say repetition is because if you're afraid of heights, you're not going to just go on a plane and skydive, right? No, you're going to pick a building. You're going to go to the first floor. You're going to stand on the balcony and think, okay, that's scary, but okay, you know, when you overcome that first fear, that first stage, and then you think, okay, this is fine. It feels fine. It feels fine. You do it over and over again. And then you go to the second floor and again, it's scary. And you look outside like, oh my gosh, but it's okay. And you do it again in the second stage, you know, and then you think, okay, this is feeling safe. And now you move up again, right? So that's exactly what you do with any type of fear. You go through it, you try it, you take small steps but you face it, you confront it, you don't avoid. You have to face it step by step. It's like following a recipe, step one and then that and then the ingredient and the flour and the eggs and then the ball. You don't just, just 
go from one step you know you don't step into the elevator and then bing you're on the 10th level no you go through all the levels of you know all the stages of the building so overcoming fear it's practice 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 but you can do it and then when you overcome that fear it's victory oh my gosh the victory and the confidence the confidence from confronting your fear is huge so grab that courage and take the first step and then everything goes gradually and just take that step if you want to grow if you want to succeed take the step and you will overcome it and the victory psychologically it just gives you a boost of confidence it's incredible <laughs> face fears shake hands with your fear be friends with your fear your action steps i want you to comment what did you learn what's your biggest takeaway how can you overcome the fear that you have what's a small step that you can make to overcome that fear please comment it below this video the second thing is if you still feel stuck in your life and you think yeah i'm afraid but i'm not sure and i don't know how to do it but i want a more meaningful and fulfilled life then make sure you grab that free gift it's a free training with seven steps to to get unstuck in your life and create the life that you desire just like i created for myself and the third thing is make sure you watch the next video it's gonna appear right away or choose another one but make sure to follow all my videos and subscribe to my channel because I want you to create the life that you desire, that you deserve, and the life that you're meant to live and not expected to live. You deserve it. Be brave, be bold, be courageous, be confident. And I'll see you in the next video.